Uh, magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Ito po yung lingkod, Freddy, dito po sa Amerika. At uh, aking tatalakay ngayong araw na ito ay tungkol sa destabilization plot na, na minulgar ni uh, dating, uh, dating senador at uh, PMA, uh, PMA graduate na si Antonio Trillanes. Si Trillanes po ay ilang beses na dalawang beses na yata na itong na, nasangkot sa coup d'etat noong panahon ni Corazon Aquino. At ito po ay ang kanyang eksperto ito pagdating sa sa ganyang mga pamamaraan na ginagawa ng ibang uh, uh, mga kasamahan niya. Pero this time, hindi involved ang Armed Forces of the Philippines. It involves the Philippine National Police according to him. Lulit ko, it's according to him. Ang intelligence so ng Philippine National Police is not so effective right now. Bakit, bakit? isipin nyo ang isang, ang isang dati ah, at matinik na senador na involved sa mga ganitong pamamaraan ay siya pa nakakuha ng intelligence. Ah? Kaya pakinggan po natin ito uh, ng uh, isang balita uh, galing sa ANC ng ABS-CBN ang interview kay attorney ang di attorney kay, kay dating senador Antonio Trillanes okay pakinggan po natin to about two um, Mindanao based senior PNP officials hmm. okay so that's very clear and right. um, and it's understandable for the PNP to to deny that, but uh, I'm sure they are aware of the activities of uh, these two uh, identified PNP personnel who are based and assigned in Mindanao. Sir, just to clarify, uh, these are two supposed. So according to him, these two police officer are in Mindanao. And I hindi niya ba naiisip na ang mga si Duterte ay taga Mindanao, taga Dabao. Okay? Kaya, eh, dahil taga Dabao, eh, sila-sila din ang nagpa-plano. Meron nga silang plot na humiwalay sa Pilipinas which is against the Constitution. At pag iyan ay pinilit nila, it be, means there will be war in Mindanao. At wala nang gusto, wala ang gusto nito sapagkat so, ang nangyari sa Mindanao nung panahon na ang uh, MILF at MNLF at ibang mga paksyon dyan sa Mindanao ay nagdulot ng libu-libong kamatayan sa mga membro nito at ilang mga inesenteng sibilyan. Kaya, importante ho ang intelligence. Ngayon, sinasabi nyo dyan sa Pilipinas na bakit hindi nagkaroon ng intelligence pan si Sara Duterte? Hindi niya trabaho yun, ang intelligence fund. Ang intelligence fund ay para sa Armed Forces of the Philippines and Philippine National Police. Sila ho ang may karapatan ng intelligence fund for the purpose of external threat coming from uh, our neighboring countries like China. Huh? Alam mo niyo ang, ang nangyayari sa West Philippine Sea, at ang pinakakalat ng China na mga fake news dyan sa Pilipinas. At it, ay sila ay meron ding intelligence fund. So we need to counter it. To counter it with respect to uh, providing intelligence fund to our armed forces of the Philippines as well as to the Philippine National Police. Kita nyo, within the ranks of the Philippine National Police, although it's not yet confirmed, but according to uh, 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 Senator, former Senator Trillanes has uh, some people there in Mindanao belonging to the Philippine National Police are initiating for a destabilization plot with respect to uh, initiated by former uh, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. At ito ay panatotohanan sa kanyang mga series, series of Uh, rally na ginagawa dyan sa Pilipinas. Itong nangyari sa Maisugwa Rally dyan sa Dumaguete ah, 
ay naging ano na lang ho, hindi naging rally. Kasi hindi, hindi sila nangakuha ng permit at ayaw ng gobyerno ng Negros Oriental na magkaroon ng problema. Kasi nagkaroon na ng problema yan eh. Diyan ba sa pagkamatay ng kanilang gobernador? And they don't want it to happen again. And this is one way to uh, to end this uh, chaos there in Negros Oriental. I've been there many times in Negros Oriental uh, in uh, uh, Dumaguete City. It's a very nice place. And in fact, it is a, a place where in uh, a different uh, foreign uh, retirees are living right now. Or we call it expat, expatriate. Yeah, that's it, right? So we need to, we need to, we need to follow the law. No one is above the law. Ano ang yari ho? Ah, si Presidente, dating Presidente uh, Rodrigo Rowe Duterte, ay nakaroon lang ng isang mini uh, press conference sa isang truck. Kasi hindi nga sila pwede magano eh, bawal eh. At iilan lang ang dumalo. Ha? Iilan lang ang dumalo. Pero mga vloggers na ang dami. Sino ang nag-support? Sino ang nagbigay sa kanila ng uh, tawag dito? ng uh, expenses. Yung mga vloggers ba kaya ang pumunta ng Negros? They will spend money in airplane ticket in uh, staying in a hotel. Uh, palagay natin pinakamaliit na hotel. How much will it cost to them? Maybe about pinakamaliit eh, kasi one day lang naman sila. Uh, two days is the maximum. They will spend about 10,000 Philippine peso at the most. Uh, sino magbibigay sa kanila? So they should be funded by, by some, from somewhere else. Am I right? Uh, ako vlogger ako from Manila. I, well, why I need to travel from Manila to Dumaguete? It's a lot of money, guys. Uh, diyan, diyan yung makikita kung sino ang nagpa-fund sa mga ito. At bakit nagmamadali si Pangulong, dating Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. At ang, at ang iba ay nag-analyze. Uh, analysis ng iba. It's not Sarah who will take over, but Duterte, the old Duterte, will take over as president. Once uh, President Bongbong Marcos Jr. stepped down, hindi uupo si, ba, si BP Sara, kundi si uh, uh, Rodrigo Roa Duterte yung matanda, na 80 years old na. So, at pag nag, na nga, at again ay naupo at natanggal nila si Presidente Bongbong Marcos Jr. Babalik uli ang, ang China diyan sa Pilipinas. Gusto ba ninyong mangyari yan? Kayong mga mga loyalista, kayong mga uh, pro democracy and those who love the American American soldiers there and American people, it's time it's time for you now to voice out, to be to be vocal in every day more especially in the comment section. Ah, maglagay nyo ang comment nyo. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just pressing the red button below to subscribe and it's all free. And give me a big likes and share this video to your friends and benefactors as well as to other uh, groups in your community as well as uh, there in the Philippines in your barangay. Okay, tuloy po natin. At ito na po siguro ang maging uh, uh, katapasan ng ating interview kay Uh, dating in Senator Antonio Trillanos. But in, in that press conference, he did say that they haven't recruited anyone yet. They haven't successfully recruited any member yet. No, they haven't recruited any member of the armed forces. But these PNP officials are active. PNP officials, there are also retired PNP officials uh, involved in this uh, ouster plot. So the, the, I'm trying to categorize the two. Okay, sir. How were you able to get a hold of this plot? How were you able to get this information? Was this information offered to you or was it something you got wind of and tried to ask around about it? We have our ways of uh, collecting information and we also have ways of validating that information. So suffice to say that uh, this information passed through the vetting process and 
uh, I am now uh, releasing validated information. And um, of course, uh, okay, the, just just to be clear, the destabilization or ouster plot is nowhere near uh, meeting uh, in meeting the requirements uh, necessary for the successful ouster of uh, the Marcos administration. Mm -hmm. Wala pa po, no? Malayo pa, maraming elemento na kulang, but... Yan, napakinggan dyo. So, anong ayari ho? Bakit atat na atat si uh, dating Pangulong Rodrigo Robo Duterte at ang ibang mga Duterte at ang kanyang mga pa followers, katulad ni uh, itong si Atty. Harry Roque. Ha? Itong si Atty. Glenn Chong. At lalo na ito si Maharlika na ilang beses na na napapahiya sa kanyang vlog. Kaya galit na galit ito si Maharlika. Eh. They are out for the ouster of President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Bongbong Marcos Jr. has to serve his term until 2028. And it's only 2024. Four more years. And uh, by next month, uh, June 30, 2024, will mark the second year of the president. How, more you, how, more, how many more years? Uh, second plus four is six. So four more years to go in order for the president to, uh, to, to serve his term. Di po ba? So, yan ay nangangalugan na ayaw ni Rodrigo Roa Duterte ng umabot by next month or by July. Bagamat hindi niya sinasabi, the President has already been repeatedly uh, said that uh, We are now longer. We are not longer member of the ICC. It doesn't mean because the the the, the committed crime against humanity was done during the initial years of uh, Rodrigo Robert III, but that was in 2016 until 2018. In two years, ilan na namatay? Thirty thousand. Filipinos without due process suspected that's a suspected and using only and using only uh, drugs uh, you will be killed by police yan no masama kaya kaya takot at takot at minamadali ni Rodrigo Robo Duterte na siya pa si Muno uh, upang mapabaksak si dating pang, uh, si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. At inaasahan kayong mga uh, mga loyalista, kayo na nagmamahal sa demokrasya, na it's time for you to put your comment right here and uh, give pledge to the, to the President of the Republic of the Philippines uh, under the 1987 Philippine Constitution na we should abide because no one is above the law. Again, this is Rose Freddy. In God we trust, never hold your peace. I'll see you in my next vlog.